Hello everybody um, welcome to this video so this night finally I find the time to make a little walk through over one of the last pieces that I wrote which is called The Last Storm and let me tell you a short story before I mean me personally I'm, I'm making music since ever I think I had my first keyboard when I was 15 now I'm nearly 50 but uh, unfortunately, there was a very long break. So it's nearly 20 years that I, that I didn't really make anything. And then, um, thanks to the fact at the end of the day that there was this um, corona lockdown, I had a whole lot of time at home and I had time to find my way back to music and I had the time to study logic again and I had the time to get into all these virtual libraries and this fantastic new world to me. And one of the libraries uh, that I absolutely wanted to put my hands on is Jaeger from Audio Imperia, which for a beginner as me is something like over the top. And, and I was even quite afraid, to be honest, at the beginning to, to use it because I saw all these videos uh, on YouTube and I saw the key switches and the articulations and all these knobs and faders and um, then they heard about the transients and that you have to make a pre-delay and all these things. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, Jaeger now hasn't got this fancy interface anymore that it had at the beginning, which I absolutely loved. And um, now it's in the Pyramid engine and it's it's quite clean now. It's quite easy to learn, quite easy to use. And once you figured out that you need a pre-delay, but I hope I will find the time to make my humble little review of Jaeger um, one of these these days because I really, really love this library. So once you figure out that you need a pre-delay or if you play in, you just use the tight function which cuts all the transients out, then you really can get these tight and really fast uh, ostinato lines um, of, of modern film music. Um, this is what I wanted to do. So I just wanted to write something with these fast staccato ostinatos from the strings and some massive brass. But then my hands got onto uh, the voice of Merete and this is just something out of heaven. This is so cool. So you have her voice. Let's just see if I... And, and and exactly like this, the melody was born. So I just had the melody and I then, okay, wow. So now it's easy to, to just build a song around. And then you use the key switch. You change from an hmm and humble to an A. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Is, that, that's so fantastic. So, okay, let's go go um, a little through the piece. And as the German that I am, um, I created all these folders. Uh, so I have all the string tracks in one folder and have the brass tracks in one folder, which makes it quite easy to solo them, to mute them. And let's just have a listen to the strings where I use, as I said before, these tight spiccato articulations. <laughs> So obviously what you need to do is um, to play a lot, a lot with velocity to get the different sounds triggered and then just play around with expression and uh, modulation and it gets as realistic as it can. Then um, at the start I even have the brass coming in. So let's have a listen to what the brass is doing. The beginning becomes this... Uh, sorry was in the beginning there is this trombones and tuba line and even here as you can see with the automation curves you just have to you know bring the sound in open the sound up and as you heard here um, I borrowed for this piece a whole lot of effects from Project Sam's Orchestral Essentials, where they do have these pre-recorded effects. Listen to this. And, and, and I will show you later on, there are many of those, because I figured out over the last month, if you combine 
libraries from different manufacturers, you get a much more realistic result because it doesn't sound like one. I remember the, the 80s and the 90s when you had a cork and you could hear it was a cork or a Yamaha or a Roland or whatever. And it's a little bit the same even today with these libraries. So just take something from Spitfire Audio, something from Audio Imperia, something from Project Sam, mix them all together, gets much more interesting. Then we get into percussion. Um, Jaeger really has a fantastic percussion section where you get, let's get here, the hits, but even the rolls. I mean, you can play in a roll like this. So they pre-recorded it. And for the hectic um, at the beginning, I just used Terraform. There are these loops that just get a little hectic into everything. Um, obviously, there is a fantastic, fantastic section of sound design in Jaeger. There are Brahms, there are drones, there are risers, there is everything. And I used even this. So there is this drone coming in at the beginning. And with the drone underneath, I have this riser going on. So if you mix them together and then when it starts, yes, there come the first Brahm like Whoa. Okay, and yes, obviously there is Merete humming at the beginning. So all together. So this is where it gets nice. Uh, we get again to the brass. If you spread the brass out over the various sections, I mean, here I used the tr trombones and the tuba, the trombones, the French horns, one, the French horns, two, and the trumpet, you get something like this. I can just loop it a little bit, or, or maybe even later, which is more interesting then. Okay, let's take the second part because there I spread it even more. This is the tuba, the trombones. Five notes above I have um, these six French horns. octave above I have these 12 French horns and then the trumpets come in <laughs> for me that's just fantastic I'm absolutely in love with it and I even brought in here some um, synthetic bass from Logic with a, with that, which I love to get these pieces a little more hybrid not only orchestral but even some, some technical elements in it and here I'm just playing with the velocity. To get this pulsing sound and then I used the chroma reverb on it. And yeah, now I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. So um, here then yes, the strings, they get back on with their ostinatos. <laughs> The violins, they have just one single line. They have no spiccatos here. And here again, there is one of the two of the brass effects from Project Sam. Combined, even here. So we can listen to this. When I, when I start here, let's take the brass. When I start here... And it just goes out with these flattering brass, like 
And here, even quite nice, as we're already here, um, I, I was working a lot with the, the, the key switches for the different articulations. So if I get into the French horns here soloed, then you can listen that we have the beginning spiccato, pop, 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 and then a legato, pop, wah, which goes like this. to mute oven. even those there are so many okay and I did the exact same thing even with the trombones and all the others okay and then the piece goes on getting a lot stronger as I have than even a big drum section from Cerberus going on this so melody comes in and as I repeat the melody I double it with the violins and with the French horns Come to the middle part, and if you have a look here at the tempo line, I'm slowing down a lot. So from 120 beats a minute, I slow down to 90. Listen to the strings with the violas. I'm starting quite slow here. There we are. To then get from these eighth notes back to the sixteenth. Here again, I doubled the melody line from Merete with the violins. In this case, I have two violins. I have the first and the second violins. But when I will do my review of Jaeger, I will get into this a little closer. And I have it doubled with the French horns. And we come to the big final. Here again, I can't say it often enough. Listen to this voice. already said that I'm a big fan of Project Sam for these effects for the end I'm slowing again down the tempo and um, I wanted to bring out even the soft side of Jaeger I mean, Jaeger is, is more on the epic side of, of the music. It's more for the big sounds. But if you need something soft, like in this case, um, the strings here, which is just violins, viola and cello, it can do even this. So it's a no-brainer. I mean, now... Um, I don't know if you if you saw it. Audio Imperia is offering 50% off their libraries now for the Black Friday. So um, if you need a, an orchestral library on on the epic side, 
what, what can I tell you? Go for Jaeger, absolutely. And I'm not sponsored by them, just to, to tell you this. <laughs> voice humming again, just very, very soft with the strings. And then it just goes lost into the reverb. Okay, that's it from my side um, this night. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please just do me a favor. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.